Hey there, Looking Refers, and welcome back to the Acoustic versus Classical comparison series here on Lickin' Riff, in which we compare the classical and the acoustic guitars. Um, I don't like to call it the pros and cons approach. I just explore the sounds, you decide what you like. Um, I just focus on the classical guitar more than on the um, acoustic guitar in this series because this is an acoustic channel, so I want to show you the differences. Um, because you already know what I can do on an acoustic, I want to show you uh, how you can make the best out of your classical guitar. So in previous videos, we've discussed the um, the differences in sound, the differences in technique, uh, the differences in harmonies, the differences uh, between the strings themselves and what you can achieve using them. Um, so if you haven't watched those videos, I strongly recommend it. The main, uh, the main point I want you to remember is that on an acoustic guitar, the strings are designed to give you a uniform sound, a block of sound, a block of steely sound. And uh, on the classical guitar, the strings are designed to give you six different expressions. Each string on the classical guitar has a separate characteristic of its own, and that's the beauty of it. Now, when you um, when you solo, let's start with the uh, with the acoustic guitar. Now, when you solo on the acoustic guitar, okay, whether it's a, it's a melodic solo or okay, or a uh, blues solo. Okay, or, Okay, um, if you imitate uh, electric guitar lines or okay, if you use harmony, okay, um, everything sounds kind of uniform. It's always an acoustic solo. If if you use a pick, uh, yeah, it's it's still the same sound. Okay, I don't remember what I played. Okay, and. Uh, And, and um, what did it? And yeah. okay. So it's oh, and it, yeah, it's, it's I I want to show you that it's always okay, it's always the same expression, whereas on the classical guitar. It's anything but the same expression. Whether you use a pick, okay, hey, it's you have different sounds on different on different strings. Okay, hey, and this is a very uh, fat bass sound. And, don't know what it is. And yeah, it, it wasn't what I played. So it's some like doesn't matter. Yeah, you see, it's already different than what I played on the bass strings. Whereas on the acoustic guitar, it sounded pretty much the same. It it sounded okay. And um, this doesn't sound too bluesy, even though it's a it's a it's a blues solo. And this, yeah. Okay, it's completely different. Okay, it's it's uh, different music, even. It's it's entirely different music than what I played on the acoustic guitar, even though it's the same notes, it's the same licks. And the, the difference in sound between the strings themselves is what makes everything tick. And we can also look at it the other way around. We, we should look at it the other way around. If I want to play something like... The classical guitar doesn't do it justice. The acoustic guitar would be much more funky. Okay, because of the 
the steely aspect of it. Okay, you have the okay, you have the steel sound and the percussive effect that goes along with the steel sound that you just don't have here. Okay, and even even this chord, it, it just doesn't sound funky. If you play this, it, it's it sounds more bossa nova than anything else. Okay? Because because of the nature of the strings. Because uh, we're used to, A, this is the most important thing about musical genres in general. Uh, we're used to different sounds. Okay? We're used to this sound in bossa nova. Okay? Uh, but it's more than that. It's... Okay, there's a reason why they didn't use acoustic guitars in Bossa Nova, but classical guitars. It's because of the sound. It's a mellow sound. It fits the style. It fits the genre. Now, that's not to say that you can't play uh, flamenco on an acoustic. I do, and I think I do it pretty well. Um, and that's not to say that you can't play country on a classical. You can, and, um, you know, the, 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 the great country player is used classical guitars, but there is a reason why people prefer certain guitars for certain genres. And um, my goal here was to show you the differences in sound. Now, I want to give you one last example. Nylon wouldn't react as well right, to the slide as the classical steel sound would, okay? The steel strength. You just... Okay, you just don't get better than this. Hey, you just don't get any better than slide on steel. You just, you just can't, no matter what you do, you just can't get this sound out of the classical guitar. Maybe, maybe. The, the bass string, but because of the flexibility of the string, you have to ch to touch it extra lightly, and it's just you you, ha you don't have much room to play with in order to get it, and just not worth the effort, right? And that's my point. It's not worth the effort to play something that would sound better on one guitar, on the other. Okay, harmonies. <laughs> sound always sound better on a classical okay then on the acoustic, no matter what you do. The acoustic pales in comparison. Okay, because even though it's the, it's the, it's the same notes, It's the, it's the characteristic, okay? When you play this, you actually hear two notes. Whereas you, you actually hear the guitar sing. Whereas on an acoustic guitar, it's a device for soloing rather than just standing on its own. Okay, you, you hear the, the, the harmony as kind of a chord. And it's beautiful. Again, don't get me wrong. 
It's beautiful. But if you want to solo, if you want to get an aggressive sound, if you want to get a percussive sound, if you want to get a modern sound, go for the acoustic. If you want to sing, if you want to, to sing with your fingers, it's almost always better to go with a classical, as long as you know how to work it, as long as you know how to produce the sound that you want to produce. This is why the acoustic guitar is easier than the classical guitar, because you need to know how to work the classical guitar, even with, even with simple chords. the classical guitar and produce its sound and it's and it's hard work it, honestly it's hard work and um, the acoustic guitar that's the biggest advantage of it over the classical is that it's a lot easier the acoustic guitar does the work for you But you, you see, I played the same thing. I played on the I played zero, two, and three on the D string with a minor, and it was nearly inaudible. Okay, you can you can really hear it. Okay, it, it got swallowed in the chord, whereas when I played it. background notes, you had foreground notes, uh, you, had, uh, you had different dynamics between everything and it's really really difficult to, uh, to work it. You need, nobody can explain this to you, you need to learn the dynamics on your own. But the first step is to hear it, the first step is to hear the dynamics and realize that you can and should try to do it because it's wonderful. Because why not? It's music. It's the beauty of music. So thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And enjoy. Thank you.